Hey team, glad you came by again. Um, this video is to show you how simple it is to conjugate regular ARE verbs. I will also be creating um, videos to conjugate ERE verbs and IRE verbs. Now, there are irregular verbs. Those are videos that I'm going to do and tackle at another time. But for now, what I want to do is um, show you how to conjugate a very simple and very easy verb that's an airy verb and that's the verb cantare which means to sing i chose this verb because it seems to be the easiest verb possibly that i can show you and it's an airy verb now conjugating these verbs will help you make sentences say sentences um, and even just have constructive uh, conversation so um, the title of this, how to conjugate regular ARE verbs. Now, like I said before, Italian has ARE verbs. Eerie verbs and IRE verbs, as well as some other crazy lingo. But this here is some um, some stuff that I'm going to show you, and how simple it actually is. So if you go back to um, the subject pronouns video that I created, you will know that you have the subject pronouns, which are as follows: Io, is I, tu. Is you, Louis, is he, lay, is she, and lay with the capital L as you, polite. Then you go on to the plural side, and you have noi, which is we, you have voi, which is you, plural, and that's uh, familiar, and then you have Loro or Loro with a capital, um, which is EQ formal polite or U formal U polite plural. So you have the they and you plural polite. Now, the verb, as I mentioned before, um, we're going to do the verb. Cantare. Now, this is very important. What I'm going to do, I'm going to underline this ARE. Underline this ARE. So, cantare. To sing. So here we have cantare to sing. I'm going to show you a very simple table. Io, tu, lui, lei, lei. O, E, A. Now, noi will end in IAMO, VOI will end in ATE. And Loro, Loro will end in Ano. Now, the reason why I underline this in orange is to show you that when you have the stem of cantare, let me put it 
right here. You have the verb cantare. You're going to get rid of this. And you're just going to attach the respectful ending for whatever you want to say. And I'll show you exactly what I mean right now. It might seem confusing, but you'll see. If I wanted to say, I sing, all I have to do is cross off the ARE and just put EO Canto. That's it. If I want to say you sing to Canto. And if I wanted to say he sings, she sings, or you polite sings, I would just write Kanta. All we're doing is getting rid of this ARE, chopping it off. Now we're left with the stem. And with the stem, we just attach the ending. That's it. Once you memorize that table, it'll be so easy for you to conjugate. <clears throat> so let me show you uh, a little bit better one more time the table so we can clarify a little easier. So the table is as follows. O, E, A, Piamo, Pate, Anna. Put this in the box. Just like that. All you need to know is that EO goes in here, TU goes in here, Louis Lei Lei goes in here, NOI goes here, VOI goes here, LORO LORO goes here. And the easiest way to remember that is to go to my subject, pronouns, video. And you'll be able to knock this out no problem. So again, this is for EO. This is for two. This is for Louis. Lai. Lai. This is Noi. This is Boy. And Loro. Loro. That's really it. So if you were to see on a sheet of paper, I'm going to give you some sentences, uh, like a fill in the blank. Let's do some fill in the blanks. And the question was like this. And it had the EO in here. And then the next one, was cantare as the verb that they wanted you to conjugate and there was a big blank here and you wanted to say I sing the song la canzone is the song all I would do is look at this ARE say I know I have to chop off this ARE. I know I have to get rid of it. Now I'm left with my stem. Let me put in my stem. And what's the correct ending for ARE's? 
in the EO form. It's called EO canto la canzone. Io canto la canzone. Io canto la canzone. I sing the song. I sing. I sing the song. I sing the song. Let's do it in the two form. And then two gives you two. I want the verb cantare. There's a big blank. And they want you to say, you sing with your family. I'm just going to fill in the rest. Colon. to uh, familia. So they want you to fill the blanks and say, you sing with your family. Well, I know here my ARE is no good. Gotta get rid of it. Boom, it's gone. I'm left with my stem. And then I just need to affix my ending. And I know in the to form, by looking at the table from before, on the tu canti con la tua familia. And again, that translates to you sing with your family. Okay. Let's go on to the Louis Lele. Okay, so we have Louis Lele. And then again, they want you to put the verb cantare. So, Louis Lei Lei, and then we're gonna put Pantare, and then you wanna say with his friends, or with her friends, or with your friends, because again, this could be a play. Let's just say with friends. Con Yi. Can you try that? Yi. Yi. That's G L I. Yi. Amici. Okay, so what's the first step again? I know I have to look at the ARE. I gotta get rid of this ARE. Gotta cross that off, the ARE. I'm left with my stem. Remember, look at the table. I'm left with my stem. Let me use a different marker. I'll use blue this time. And then I just need to affix the ending. That's it. It is so simple. Lui lei lei canta con gli amici. Lui lei lei canta con gli amici. So again, he, she, you, polite, sings with friends. All right, zooming on by. Let's do the we form. Okay. So we have noi, and then we have cantare. It's the verb we need to conjugate. Remember the airy, got this big blank. And then we want to say, are a little bit better. I'm sorry, guys. So we sing, we want to say, we sing in church. You could say, 
in or Allah. It doesn't really matter. You could say in church or you could say at the church. Technically, they have the same meaning. And then chiesa. So we sing in church. So again, have my ARE. Have to get rid of this ARE. I'm left with the stem. And my stem is con. Now, going back to the table, all I need to do is add IAMO because in the Nori form, it's IAMO. Noi cantiamo in or alla chiesa. We sing in or at the church. Okay. Let's go on to the U plural. Boy, we have the verb we need to conjugate. We have to fill in the blank. And then I'm going to say outside. Fuori. Fuori. Outside. So I have the A R E. I'm left with my stem. Can't. What do I have to do this ARE? I have to get rid of it. Boom, it's gone. Now I'm just left with the stem. And that's C A N T to spell Kant. All I need to do is go to the void from the table, um, the correct ARE ending, and it's just going to be. A T E to make voi cantate fuori. You all sing outside. Voi cantate fuori. You plural sing outside. We have the loro loro form. And on the test, it's that fill in the blank. Okay. And let's see, who are they singing to or who are you all singing to? Let's say that they're singing to you. Ah. Uh, Now, I know in the subject pronoun I taught you to. I want you to be able to also take in te, because when you're singing to somebody, you would say a te. So we have our stem. What do we do with the stem? We gotta get rid of that stem. We're left with Kant. And last but not least, we got to go back to the table and we have to see what does Loro take. And we know that it takes Anno, A-N-O. And that's all we do. We affix the ending. Cantano. Cantano. So Loro, Loro, Cantano, a te. Okay. This could even be R. You want to say four or two. So they slash you plural polite sing four slash two you. 
that should make you happy. Anyways, this is how you conjugate ARE verbs. Now, it's very, very, very easy if you know the table. And if you know where the subject pronouns go in the table, then you'll have no problem conjugating regular ARE verbs. Irregular ARE verbs are a little bit more difficult because they, they require memorization. But again, the subject pronouns, this is the table for the subject pronouns. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to abbreviate like this. So there's your table. That needs to be memorized. Those are subject pronouns. And then, since you know the table here, if you can memorize the fact that ARE verbs is conjugated for EO, it would just end in an O. If you can memorize for the two form, it would end in an I. If you can memorize for Louis Lay Lay, end in an A. Noi would end in IAMO. Boy would end in ate, and loro loro would end in ano. Well, then it's pretty much safe to say that you know for sure, 110 percent, without even doubting yourself, that you know how to conjugate regular airy verbs. Because again, if you know this table, and if you can memorize this table, you have no problem conjugating this stuff. Airy verbs. You'll have zero issues conjugating that. There you have it. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I will also create an ERE, vid ERE conjugation video and an IRE conjugation video. I hope that this was helpful to you. I chose cantare because it was a very simple verb. Um, and then I'll choose an ERE verb, probably scrivere, which means to write. Um, and then I'll create a, an IRE one. But in short, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that it was straightforward and simplistic for you to follow. I encourage you to check out all the other videos. I encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, do reach out to me if you need anything at all. Thanks again.